Hello. The game has started. It's me to go first. I have a good vowel consonant balance, but I can't see a bingo here. I can play fish, which should score quite well, and leave a vowel and a consonant. 34. Great. I have verdits and diverts. I don't think... Well, no, strived would also be good. So strived, verdits, and diverts. Column 5 is a double-double column. So is there an 8-letter play through an I? Can't see such a play. Now, what about column 8? For a play beginning or ending with the E of Fiche. Can't see anything there. Fiche takes an S. I don't think it takes a D. So at the moment my seven letter bingos can play in column nine. Diverts also plays in rows G and I. Just looking at the other floaters in Fiche, I can't see anything through the F or the C or the H. I think their dites might be good through the E of Fiche, but that won't get tripled. And I'm not confident about it anyway. Great. Column 9 remains available. I've also got row M to consider. And also row K through the N of Frank, in case I have a double-double. I don't think I do. So, do I have anything in row M which sticks the N, the, sorry, the S on the end of Frank? Well, Strived won't get doubled. Verdits doesn't work, and Diverts doesn't work. So, I think I like verdicts down here. The V means my opponent can't use the triple word square at A8. Seventy-seven. Great, I draw the first blank. And I suspect I'm close to a bingo here, but I may not have one. But I've got good vowels for going with the X. Not quite the right vowels for Toxocara. But there is the Sea of Fiches, which looks quite good with this rack. Wrong number of O's for Axiom or Axiomatic. I've got Toxo as a prefix. I've got toxic through the sea of fish, keeping A-O blank. Can't see anything there. I'm just looking at the floaters to see if anything comes to mind. My opponent's taken out some of those. Toy for 27. So, a lot of floaters in verdits and fishes. Do I have a bingo? I'm looking at the tiles in verdicts in order. Can't see anything with the V or the E. Gosh, I feel there is a bingo here. I've got the oid ending in row E. Toxoid is good. Now, I've got the... Asian ending with the blank as an N. And that keeps OX. So if there were ID, I would have oxidation. Well, I've exhausted the verdicts floaters. Can't see anything with the fiches ones. So, what to do here?
NO takes an X after it. I can't use that to good effect. I could play Toxoid. But is there something better? I'd like to play off certainly one of the O's and I need to sort out the Val constant balancer. Play of Oxo would probably work best, but there's nowhere for that. Well, there's row M, but that's not going to score very much. 18 points. Now, Toxoid, 28. But is Toxoid the best? Well, it may not be, but I don't want to run my clock down too far. Toxoid 28. Well, duplicate tiles and it doesn't look good, but there could be something here. Probably not a 7. Close to Guardi Lou. Okay, I can't see anything, and I don't have any scoring tiles, but I certainly need to play off an A and an O, and probably a G. So I could play a go above the first letters of Toxoid. My opponent's just played there. 30 points for him. I don't think Avogadro is good. So, what to do? I don't have a vowel for going for going underneath the X. Ah, I could play a go down here. Not a great score, but it sorts the rack out. Fifteen points, pretty dismal. Now, I, I could play Droog through the R. 23 points, that's a lot better. But it's keeping an A. Sorry, it's keeping the duplicate A, which I don't want to do. So I think I'll go back to my previous play a go for 15. I've got a scoring tile in the W and vowels to go with it which is good. I've got the wood ending with TA blank. So I've got late wood in row C through the E of verdicts. Do I have an alternative bingo? Wood chap through a C but the C of fiches and the H of fiches is not in the right spot. The H goes quite well with the W. But I can't see a bingo. Toy, for reference, takes an O at the end. There may be a seven with this rack. Just considering the out prefix, but I can't see anything. Right, my opponent has taken my late wood spot, but he's provided a new one with the L of red tails. But more interestingly, there's, there's now a nine timer column in column 15. I don't have a great rack for going with that. But it certainly would score well if I have one. So AST would.
can't see such a play. So what else apart from wood do I have? Saw as a prefix, can't see anything with that. Wood rat is good as a seven. Nowhere for that to play. So at the moment, all I've got is late wood, which is pretty dismal. It doesn't doesn't even get doubled, and it opens up column 15. 13 minutes on the clock, 49 tiles in the bag. I'm going to run through the alphabet and see if anything occurs to me. I'm trying to keep in mind the floaters in red tails, and in particular... The S. Now I have boat with D O W. That's my wood chat play. That looks like there's something there. Maybe fat wood. That's my late wood rack. Past wood not good. That's wood rat. That doesn't play. That's the out prefix. Okay, now I've also got word as an ending with T A O. Well, I'm inclined to play late word. I haven't seen anything else. I suspect there is a better bingo. Gosh. I don't even get a scoring tile on the triple letter square where my E's gone. Latewood, 65. Wow, I draw a fa fantastic rack. I draw the second blank and pretty bingo-y tiles. Toy takes an S as well as an O after it. So I've got ceiling with the blank as an I. That play plays in row M. And it also plays in column 15. So I do have back-to-back -back bingos, which is great. I've only got a 60-point lead at the moment, so I'm not in a secure position by any means. And I suspect I've got a whole bunch of other bingos. Now, what about column 8? Do I have anything beginning with the E of Fiches? Can't see anything. I've got the E-N prefix. But column 15 is the, the hot column with this rack. But column 13 may also be available. I probably ought to consider what sevens I have with this. Ah, oh, now Latewood takes an S, so I've probably got to play in row K. Gentles, that works. And that will be better than... The ceiling play and that and gentles remains available. Just checking all those words are good. They are. I'm inclined to play this fairly quickly because I don't think there's going to be a much better score available, and I don't want to get into time trouble. And this isn't providing anything amazing for my opponent. Gentles seventy six. Not so good. I shan't be three timing here. I do have Aval. Wow, nice score for my opponent. 42 points. He's still only a bingo behind, so I'm not home and dry yet. Now, column F is available. For my U can go underneath the X. 
what about column 12 through the A? I've got launch. That's not placing any of my high scoring tiles on the double letter squares in this column. So is there a way of doing that? Launch certainly gets rid of all of the bad tiles on my rack. I, I I can't see anything better. And again, this doesn't provide anything for my opponent. And I'm playing off a lot of tiles, which is good. Since I'm ahead, launch 22. That's much better. I can't see a 7. There may be an 8, but the number of floaters on this board has dropped considerably. There's the T of gentles. Repunted, not good. Prudent, not long enough. So what other floaters are there? Oi takes a P in front, so the E of gentles is a floater. Can't see anything there. I've got the unprefix. Gat takes nothing in front, so column 2 isn't available. Row F is available for 7 letter plays with 4 tile overlap. I've got a 98 point lead, which is quite good. Both blanks having having gone. My opponent may play down from the G onto this triple word square, in which case he'll be providing three new floaters, which may help me play a bingo. If I can't bingo, I've got the P for score, and I'd like to play off the U. Still two U's to come. Well, and my U can go underneath the X, so I'm immediately drawn to pun or up. It would be nice to play off a lot of tiles. But I may not be able to do that. Upend is good, Pendu is good. They don't play in row F. I think row F is the place to play. So I've got pun. The problem with actually it's not a problem. Reed is quite a good rack leave. I thought I was vowel I would be vowel heavy, but I'm not. I'd be vowel equal. Ah, oh. Rats. Okay. So where else to play? Although my P can go next to Oi, I don't have anything for going in front of D E. And three consecutive consonants me makes it hard to play parallel to gentles. So, not an easy position to be in. Eight minutes on the clock, 20 tiles still to come. I don't want to provide any floaters for my opponent. So not an easy position to be in, but what about overlapping the beginning of Gentles? I can play Dupe, which leaves a decent rack leave. Doesn't provide anything for my opponent. Obstructs the T, which is pretty much the only remaining floater. Although the V could be available for a blank V blank ending word. 20 points, an okay score. Just looking at the vowels remaining. 13 out of 27, so a balanced bag. Yep, this is fine. I have a scoring tile in the M. My opponent opens the board up. 1S remaining. He is... Wow, he's not that far behind. He's only about 60 points behind. I don't have a bingo with this rack. Can't see anything ending Eve. 
the egg isn't a helpful floater for me because I've got a lot of vowels. I don't have any vowel for going after the J, so I can't play in column 13. Where can my M score? Six minutes on the clock. Well, I'm looking in row M to see if I can play through the A. So I could play remain, and that has some merit because it forces my opponent to play an E underneath the R. Only 18 points. Can I score more? And it's keeping double E. Well, that's not a disaster. Only two E's to come, and the E is quite a nice tile anyway. It's rare to get into trouble with E's. You need about five to be in a bad position. Now my M can go in front of oh no. Remain doesn't feel good. I'm not closing the board down. What about... What about meanie? No, that's not good, in the sense that I'm, I'd am i be sticking a vowel underneath this double letter square. I'm just thinking about keeping a slightly more balanced rack. 12 points, that's dismal. I think I will go with Remain, because it is expediting the end of the game. But I don't like sticking a vowel over a triple letter square at this stage. So what about playing mere? That leaves a balanced rack. 14 points. Not good. Not good. A long way from a bingo. And duplicate tiles and the B and the P lack synergy. But I'm ahead, which is Important. I've opened up a bingo lane in row N, which previously was only available for bingos ending in S. So I may come to regret that. M takes an M underneath it. But if my opponent does bingo in row N, I get first dibs at the triple word squares in row O. But my opponent may end up, may open two triple word squares. Remaining tiles. A little bit bingo-y, not hugely. The F and B are not bingo-y, nor is the U, V and Z. My opponent is likely to have one or more of, the, of those. So what can I do? Where can I score with my B and, B and P? This is a tricky board, because there are very few scoring opportunities anywhere. In fact, I've seen nothing so far. Only one E in the bag, which is good. It diminishes the likelihood of my opponent bingoing. My opponent could play in row B, opening up row A, and then he would have two bingo lanes available. Four minutes on my clock, eight tiles in the bag. I have seen no candidate plays so far. An E could go between the R and the I. But that doesn't really help me. Great, only five points. My opponent is struggling as much as I am to find anywhere. But 
out what to do. It would be nice to sort out the duplicates on my rack. I've only got four minutes left. Just wondering about placing my E here, playing something like Eve. Then I'll have ER because I've got the P to go in front of it. But my opponent's got an F which could go in front of it and he could score heavily with that. Four minutes on the clock. I, I really can't tarry here. But I can't see anything to play. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. Pew, pretty lame. 13 points. But I don't want to get into time trouble. Great, I, I think I've drawn the Z. Nowhere to play it, but at least my opponent can't score heavily with it. I'm sure there are places to play it. Well, I could play Zine in row N. I've got Zineb on my rack, which could play in column two, Zineb and Bar. That's pretty good because Z takes nothing in front of it. I'm opening up this triple word square, but it's not available for a bingo. But it would empty the bag. And the remaining tiles are quite bingo -y. My I don't want to empty the bag of my opponent to bingo in row N. Four tiles left, so I'm looking to play off three. I've got Biz on my rack. Three minutes left. Tricky situation. If I play Zin, then my opponent could play an A or an O in row O, which isn't great. I've got Biz on my rack. Nowhere for that. So looking at the scores, I am 75 ahead. If I play Zineb. Ninety-eight. I think that might be enough, even if my ping, even if my opponent bingos in row N. Well, I suspect that was a suboptimal play. I, I may have got away with it. I don't think there is a bingo with these remaining tiles. If there is, I suspect my opponent would win. 22 points on count back. He needs to get to 365. He would need 76. Yeah, if his bingo ended underneath Wilgers, he'd achieve that. But I don't think he can. I don't think he has a bingo, and I think I've escaped. So I need to consider my rack. I can't go out in one. I have Bavin on my rack. That plays in row N. I could play Vav in row B. I could play Bravi. Bravi also plays in row N. Onto a T, I would have Vibrant. Hopefully my opponent will be drawn to playing parallel to Zineb. That would keep the options I've suggested available. Eight minutes on my opponent's clock. Yep, he is drawn there. So, if I play Bravi up here, then I'm keeping a V. I don't really want to do that. So, 
Why don't I play Bravi here? My opponent's got slime on his rack. So I don't think this really this really I don't think Bravi helps him. If he plays underneath MI, then he's not gonna reach the triple word square. The V stops anything being played underneath it, and nothing he's got plays in row O to end underneath this A, I don't think. So I think this is fine. And if my opponent doesn't go out, I can place my N here or next to the eye of Zineb, so I'm not stuck with that. Twenty-four points for Bravi. Well, I'm expecting my opponent to go out because he can play Slime and or Smile and My. He may miss that. I don't think he will. Well, he's not, because he can certainly play smile and be, so I'm sure he'll play something to go out. He's got seven minutes to find his play. And if he doesn't go out, there are several spots for my N. But nothing amazing. Yep, so pass to end the game. And the final score, 343 to my opponent, 411 to me, a winning margin of 68 points. So pretty useful win. Let's see what I missed. It was me to go first. Chief was available. I played Fish for the same number of points, so that's pretty much the same move. This was my opponent's rack. Looks pretty good. He played Frank. And now I played Verdits for 77. Yeah, and a whole bunch of moves scoring the same or less. My opponent's Raki plays Toy. Now, what about here? Well, there was no bingo, so I'm glad I didn't spend longer looking for one. And Toxoid, surprisingly, uh, looks fine. My opponent's Raki plays Cat. And this was my record. I considered Droog. I didn't like the duplicate A keep. And I played a go for eight points less. Now, usually the duplicate tile's worth about five. In this case, I'm dropping... Well, I'm dropping eight points. And A and O lack synergy, so possibly Droog better. Especially as it's providing floaters, which is useful when, when I've got the blank. And the A isn't a disastrous duplicate tile to have, so probably Droog better there. This was my opponent's rack, and Droog would have blocked Red Tails. Yep, so he plays Red Tails now. Wow, look at that. Latewood was the only bingo. So, again, I'm glad I didn't spend longer uh, looking for, in this case, a better bingo. My opponent's rack, he plays Oni, and I had a great pickup. I had a choice of bingo, so I played Gentles fairly quickly, and there was nothing scoring more. My opponent plays easy. And now I played Lunch for 28. Gulch, available for 36, 8 more points, but keeping a duplicate N. And again, using the 5-point rule would suggest Gulch is slightly better, but when it's that close, I think I prefer the better rack leave and gulch uh, provides floaters which i don't want to do since i'm ahead so i think lunch is a better play my opponent plays gur this was my rack again grood opens up a lot of floaters at the bottom which i don't want to do dupe for 20 looks looks better my opponent plays wilger ah remini that's quite nice well, it looks nice, but it places an E underneath this double letter square, and with the Z to come, I don't think that's good. But the alternatives are a heart, not so much but, but the remain the alternatives are all fairly similar. Low scoring with decent rack leaves, such as Mir. 
Now, my opponent's right. That looks pretty good. No bingo, but some high scoring moves available. Which he doesn't play. This was my rack. And I think I was struggling here, struggling to find anywhere to play on this board. Because I didn't want to open up a bingo for my opponent. A bingo lane for my opponent. So I played Pew. I suspect that was inferior to some of the moves on offer here. But I also suspect that a lot of the moves on offer here open up bingo lanes. Now this is my opponent's rack. He doesn't have a bingo. He played here. My rack. F2 Zion. Oh wow. Yes, I think I should have played that. It would still have emptied the bag. But 13 more points than... Zineb, but an, an inferior rack leave, the B is not a good tile to keep with the V, and also not a good play because Zine creates a bingo lane for tiles which front hook EAR, and there's quite a lot of them here, so I think I prefer Zineb, but I suspect some of the other plays here may have been better than either of those. My opponent's rack, no bingo, my rack, and N6 Bravi, that was my play. And finally, my opponent goes out with Miles, and that was best. So, an interesting game. It was particularly challenging in just before the end game, when the board was very tight, and it was we were both struggling with plays when I played Pew, and my opponent played UH, and Zineb was also a tricky play, as was the, the Mir play. So, plenty to think about there. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.